Hello there, this is Friday, and uh, with previous Fridays we'll do some uh, craft book reviews. And since we have started on the right uh, faster, right smarter series by Chris Fox, today we'll do a two for one. We'll do launch to market, easy marketing for authors, as well as ads for authors who hate maths. As I've said in previous videos about this series, what I like about it is that it's pretty much following the steps of building an indie author career. And in book one, we'll learn how to write faster. Book two, we'll learn how to write more, more consistently. Uh, book three was about choosing a financially successful project. Uh, we did a review about uh, how to learn this book. So today we go to, the, to launching the book, launch the market as well as some marketing stuff because we do these reviews according to how you know, how the series was written but in a reading way that would be helpful to steps in your career i guess we we'll the market is as marketing for authors and um, there's an interesting quote to in this do this writing thing and start proud okay i will try and do this writing thing at the moment so that's the contents as with other videos it starts with a case study for destroyer which was a successful book it was the book that Chris Fox explained how he wrote it uh, back in uh, Right Market, the previous book in the series. It's basically con that you can find if you scour the net for um, 10 or 12 hours, you'll get pretty much all the con you get from this ebook that costs a dollar. At the moment I'm uh, recording this uh, review, it is still one dollar. Of course you'll watch this after quite some time so it may be more expensive. Uh, there will be links for the books uh, below in the description. You read this book within two hours, you do some exercises which are fundamental for the way this book works and um, you know what? You've got the information, you know exactly uh, what to look further on because there are some suggestions for a book you can read to get further uh, knowledge about uh, what you can do. Certain marketing techniques like the reader magnet um, and uh, funnels, uh, tracking, uh, mailing lists. In the authors using Amazon for a rapid release use many tactics that are also used by info product or content marketers on the internet and basically it's the same only instead of funneling people on more and more expensive uh, products and upselling instead what you do is uh, you sell people your books that pretty much cost the same with the previous book. so in a way it's very similar and yes this idea comes up if you've read the previous books and you like the writing style, uh, you have faith in the author and knowing what he's telling about because he's making money from fiction and he stopped doing this uh, self-help writing guide books uh, quite ago because they were not uh, netting in enough money so I guess he knows what he's talking about. You can give it a try. It's, um, you know, it's a laundry list of things you have to know if you want to self-publish your book on Amazon and it just saves you time. You don't have to scour the internet for content and there is no chance you're missing something. But if you don't like the writing style, if you don't like paying for ebooks, you can pretty much ignore it in my opinion. It's not like it's a bad book, but it's not a must buy for me. The same applies for the other book we're looking at today, Ads for Authors. It was Chris Fox's final book in the series. He was doing a right to market part two book, but he stopped earlier this year, I believe, because he didn't have the time to do that. He was uh, more busy writing books and he's role playing game. So yes, that means that after this book and two more videos about the other two Chris Fox books, there won't be other reviews for Chris Fox. There'll be somebody else reviewed, okay? You dodge the bullet. This book is pretty much a basic advertising primer. If you have no idea how to advertise your book on the internet, on Facebook, on Amazon, on Reddit, and after reading the chapter I still have no idea how Reddit ads work. And I didn't even know that you can put advertisements on Reddit. I mean, I see some advertisements on Reddit, but uh, I've never been there because it's not the audience we target in my day job, because yes, part of my day job is marketing books. And then book by, 
bookbub ads which I've also not done. I won't do bookbub ads bookbub ads yes I'm it's bookbub it's it's a tongue twister it's a tongue twister bookbub ads at some point so that's interesting I what I like about this book is Chris Fox is very tech savvy so he realizes that if he publishes this book and he has a detailed guide about how to do a specific ad in any platform uh, it's very probable that within three months uh, this guide will be outdated and I believe Facebook the way he addresses Facebook is already outdated at this point but again it's a very basic primer for people who don't want to go deep into data crunching and spreadsheets and have maths he has a very simple uh, recipe for advertising a very simple formula which is on the cover for advertising your product and realizing what is working what is not there is a lot of practical guides on how to set up an advertising schedule and how to work your advertisement which is great you know if you want to do that i mean uh, i got some uh, ideas about gathering images from this book that I had not thought of before like uh, commissioning artwork for your books to be used simply as marketing material and somewhat copy stuff and there are a lot of suggestions for books going deeper in any of these parts of uh, advertising it's a broad stroke book it's um, this book has a very broad uh, appeal it's just a primer if you are an advertising virgin and you don't want to go too deep into maths and spreadsheets and stuff then you can learn everything you need about advertising for from this book and try to apply them to the exercises and odds are you'll end up with a decent advertisement following this advice so that's the appeal for this book and if you find yourself being lost you want to advertise your novel or your series of novels you're having out there you really hate math and don't want to go deep into those geeky stuff this book is probably for you i mean i can vouch that the mathematical formula used in this book is absolutely 100 percent correct and oftentimes uh, overly detailed spreadsheet fail to address this formula <laughs> believe it or not because simplicity is key and keep it simple stupid is a great advice in any 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 industry so if you find yourself wanting to read a book about advertisements and you don't want to scour the internet for advice which you can find for free this book is for you if you want to level up your advertising game because you know the basics uh, i doubt you find something new in this one but then again you know what's the advantage with these books you know what's the great thing with these books it is that somebody will compile all this information and will give you a start or finish guide on how to do something about your book so you don't have to search the internet because searching the internet is a bit of a waste of time and these books are affordable in my opinion very well written for self-help guides they're not too deep they're not going to deep none of them goes to deep but then again that's not the appeal that's entry level stuff and then you can follow the suggestions and go into much more detailed books and techniques and you can you know what to look for them which is quite a win knowing what to look for is probably more important than finding it in my opinion especially in complex problems like um, marketing and books and yes it's complex in its own way so that was my review for these books uh, ads for authors who don't like maths and lands to market and uh, next friday there will probably be another chris fox video thank you for watching and see you next friday bye bye